Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Abyss Fusion, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Welcome back to another food reviews. Today, we're doing question mark new flavors of Walker's Max. Now, I say they're new question mark at the end because I've never heard about these, I've never seen an ad on YouTube or anything like that, or on Facebook. On these, I have absolutely no idea if these are new or not. I want to say they are new because it is a Walker's Max combined X KFC because it's a KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken flavor. Now, I got this particular bag of crisps from my local corner shop and it was actually marketed at one pound. I bought it for one pound and it says on the top, free KFC meal, two for one, uh, two for one on meals for one, it's easy to apply, see. And this is another type of stuff as well. So, I want to assume these are brand new, but it doesn't say if it is new or not. It doesn't say at the top or the bottom or anywhere like that. So, anyway, we're just going to... Oh, wait. How to redeem. Purchase a traditional, a promotional pack. Present your pack at KFC Restaurant to redeem. Well, that's uh, kind of interesting. So, anyway, uh, we're going to have a look at the little uh, blurb right there, whatever you want to call it. So, Walker's Max, the irresistible, deep, rich, crisp, bursting with delicious KFC flavor for the ultimate taste explosion in every bite. KFC flavor, Max satisfaction. Uh, just going to look at the nutritional value very quickly. Uh, the fat per 100 grams is 29 grams, uh, of which is saturates at 2.4 grams. Carbohydrates is 51.9 grams per 100 grams, of which are sugars 2.0 grams per 100 grams. Fiber, 4.3 grams per 100 grams. Protein, 7 grams per 100 grams. Salt, 1.44 grams per 100 grams of the bag. Kentucky Fried Chicken Flavored Rich Potato Crisps. Uh, what else is there? Suitable for vegetarians. No artificial sugars. No, no preservatives. No, no uh, MSG. Cool. Stone in a dry place. And it expires on the 5th of May this year we're here to help so this is um interesting kentucky frap i'm gonna be honest i don't go to kfc regularly i do not go to kfc the last time i went to kfc would have to be over two years ago it was the last time i went to kfc quite a few years ago and i don't go to mcdonald's or burger king or whatever it is like that that's why you haven't seen a mcdonald's or a kfc or burger king food reviews on this channel yet because i just don't go there regularly there is one Literally five minutes away from where I live if I were to drive, but I'm not interested in doing a McDonald's, KFC, or Burger King review at the moment. Later on, only a year maybe, but at the moment, I'm not really interested. So, anyway, this is what it is. Uh, the design looks kind of new. It's got Colonel Sanders, or whatever his name is, Colonel Sanders, I assume, on the front right there. It's got the red and white uh, KFC bucket, quote unquote, there. I don't know. Stripes along there, and then it's got the max black right there. So let's get into it now. If I'm correct, if I'm remembering off memory when I went to the shop earlier, I think there was more than one flavor. I might be incorrect though, but anyway, uh, let's have a smell of it. Doesn't have it, an aroma actually, it just smells like normal potato crisps. So that is what it looks like, um, it's very hard to tell of the lighting, but it's got, it just looks like a normal potato chip with little bits in it. It does not smell like Kentucky Fried Chicken, although then again I don't eat fried chicken on a daily basis, so. It doesn't smell of anything spectacular, it just smells like a normal potato crisp. It smells like normal crisps. Anyway, Walker's Max, Kentucky Fried Chicken, let's try some. Oh wow. Generally tastes like fried chicken. Oh wow. That's surprisingly nice, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. It tastes exactly like fried chicken. I don't understand why the Kentucky there's for, but I mean, what's the difference from normal fried chicken to Kentucky fried chicken? Is there a difference? Do KFC do them differently? I don't know. It 
but it's actually really, really good, not going to lie. It's got like, bear with me, the flavour is exactly what it's meant to be, Kentucky Fried Chicken. It tastes exactly like fried chicken, but in a crisp form, or a, as the Americans call them, a chip form. It's not overly weak, it's not overly strong, it's got quite a bit of a kick to it when you have it. Like, again, I don't go to KFC regularly, so I do not know if like the fried chicken is good, or if they've got a Kentucky Fried Chicken, whatever it is. I don't know what KFC do, because I'm not a regular customer, I don't go there all the time. I know exactly what you were trying to do, animal. You ain't getting any of it. <sighs> I'll be eating them tomorrow, all of them. Um, the flavour is what it's meant to be. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Why the Kentucky parts there? I have no clue. The flavour is very good. Tastes like fried chicken, as it should be. In a potato crisp form. And there's nothing realistically negative that I can say about it. Again, I do not know if it's new. So when I name the title, I'm going to put in new question mark at the end because I have no idea if these are brand new or not. I might do some research into it and make sure that I am correct and to say it's brand new. But there's nothing negative that I can say about it other than the name, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I, I don't know if there's a difference between normal fried chicken and Kentucky Fried Chicken, but it just tastes like normal fried chicken to me. Again, if you're a regular and you go to KFC and they have a Kentucky Fried Chicken bite or whatever it is, let me know. But Apart from that, there's realistically nothing negative I can say about it. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. One pound for a pretty sizable bag. Very good value. Now for the ratings. In terms of the design, you know, it's got the Colonel Sanders and the little KFC red and white uh, signature thing that they normally put on their buckets, I believe. So, the design on the crisp packet, it gets a 6 out of 10. Perfectly fine. No, yeah, 6 out of 10. Flavour, I could see myself eating... A whole bag of that in just like one day but I'm gonna leave it till tomorrow I could buy like maybe three of them and I know that I'll keep just eating them because I love them so much but like to anyone that loves crisps you will easily eat a bag of them without hesitation that's how good they are so the flavor it gets an 8 out of 10 very very good very very nice good for the price as well one pound for a bag like that it's very very good anyway this has been a bit of fusion. Thank you all very much for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button, possibly share it with a friend, family, or relative. Check the description below for my Instagram and my Twitter. I'm always active on Instagram, and I'm no longer active on Twitter. So what's the point of me saying that anymore? Anyway, I will see you all in the next review that we do. Whatever that's going to be.